T-2011, in the organized chaos of the earthquake relief effort, several Oxfam staff were abusing their position. And it went to the very top. Il faut sortir les gens de ces bâches. Oxfam's head of mission, Roland van Hoevermeyeren, had form and stepped down after admitting prostitutes were invited to his villa. It's not why people give to charity, and this former staffer says things have to change. On the back of this investigation from the Charity Commission, there now needs to be urgent action taken by Oxfam, by trustees. Uh, the governance of this charity needs to be under the spotlight. Under new management, this is what Oxfam said on its website today. What happened in Haiti was shameful and we're deeply sorry. It was a terrible abuse of power that goes against everything we stand for. I want to again apologise to all those who personally suffered. There is a lot of rebranding going on. Check out the Empowers Women message here. The shops rely on us and our goodwill. But why did this take so long to come out? And were the people who were meant to be policing it asleep on the job? We're talking about allegations from eight years ago. Are you satisfied that the Charity Commission did enough when it first knew about this? Well, when, uh, in 2011, the point is, is that Ox Oxfam did not uh, bring to us full information. They were not full and frank in their disclosure to us. Um, had we known in 2011, had Oxfam at that time been full and frank in their disclosure, then it may be possible that we, you know, we, we, would, have, you know, we would have responded uh, differently. It's so long ago they cannot substantiate claims that some children were abused. But the whole charity sector is reeling from the Oxfam crisis. How confident can we, the, the donors, be that it isn't still going on right now? This is, we are, this is something that we will not tolerate in the sector. We have to be working to rule out abuses, and that is what we're committed to doing. The official report says Oxfam lost sight of its values. The question now is, can our trust ever be restored?